Well, 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 good morning. Welcome to another video. This is the Monitor Style Barn Chicken Coop. So uh, I've been getting some good input. I appreciate it. I also spoke or uh, texted with uh, Al Lumna. He wants to know when I'm getting chickens <laughs> for my chicken coop. <sighs> that wasn't really in the plan. Um, however, if you would like to leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. Do you think I should get a chicken and become a homesteader like Al and Gina? Not, nowhere is near what they're doing, but keep a chicken. I'm, I am trying to grow vegetables and things, so I don't know. Anyway, today we're going to put the walls up and the barn doors. Most, most, um, most monitor barns, it seems like the door is about a third of the width of the, of the overall width. So it would be a fairly, to scale, it would be a big door, uh, double door that slide. I'm going to put it on hinges and I'm going to make it look like a double door. It'll just be one, so it'll open either this way or this way. Over on this side, on the, the lower roof section, there'll be a, a drop-down door for the nesting boxes over here. Someone suggested making this whole side drop-down so that you can clean with a, a hoe or whatever uh, easily. Uh, I guess I've got to make a decision on that, like, in the next minute. <laughs> and a, a, a outrun chicken door with a ramp on this end. Let's get to it. Oh, and we're go I'm, I've uh, got to run to the, the carpet linoleum store, and buy I'm going to put linoleum down on this entire floor for ease of cleaning. Al thought... Al Lumna thought that would be a, a good way to do that. So I'm, I know he has experience. I'm going to do that. So let's get on to it. I think we ought to build some walls. Made an executive decision. I'm not going to do the fold down clean out door on this side. I'm just going to use that one and you'll be able to get in there with a hoe and just clean it out. So I'm going to, going to go conventional two-foot centers for the studs. These are top and bottom plates for that wall, top and bottom plates for this wall. I don't really need marks on both sides for the stud, but I... Sometimes, <laughs> depending on the mood, that's how I do it. Okay, now I gotta figure out the stud length and we'll nail these together. Well, I'm ready, ready to build, put walls on. I have caught a bit of a cold. So uh, here's the interesting thing. The other day we were down Southern New Hampshire, Lauren and I, Lauren has a cold, a real bad one. She had just been admitted to the, an, an emergency room down there. So he stopped in Peterborough, New Hampshire, to um, pick up a prescription. And one of you folks saw me there and said, hi, I so appreciate that. I didn't get your name, sorry, but thanks for, uh, thanks for saying hi. That, that really is fun. Anyway, the next day she was back in a different hospital, emergency room, but now she's got her antibiotics working and she's doing a lot better. I may end up with antibiotics at some point. But for now, chicken coop monitor barn style. Let's put some walls together. Give this thing some shape. There's gonna be two, three, four. <clears throat> Another thing that I'd like to mention while I'm doing this is I do, I do a lot of time lapses and I want to do a time lapse with uh, building this chicken coop as well as the playhouse that I built and what's the other thing? The greenhouse. I like to do a time lapse 
Um, if you could leave a comment what your thoughts are on that. It's just like a quick start to finish of the, the build. Um, should I wait a year before I do that? I'd like to hear from you what, what your thoughts are on that. There's one. I'll just set this over here for a minute. I went and cut all the pieces ahead. These are 18 inches long. This makes a nice framing table. So this is the back wall. This one will have the chicken door. It will, it's going to be offset a little bit. It'll come down on a ramp to the outside. So learning a lot about chickens. A chicken door apparently should be 10 inches wide and 12, 13 inches high. So that's what I'm going with. And also saw that a nest is typically 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches high. So that's going to be go going over on that side, so I'll build that in place probably. And now the front door. Again, I've cut all the parts ahead so I can put it together. One interesting thing, or one, one of my reasonings in making this door this size is symmetry. Uh, should be able to, well, I'll put this together and then we'll be able to look at it and get a good feel for what we have. So let's nail this up. So we're ready to put the walls up, right? No, we're not. You folks were very kind in your remarks to what should go, something should go on the floor, right? And I want to do it before I put the walls up. Well, guess what I got? Ta-da! Linoleum. You knew I'd do that, right? So I'm going to just put, let's see, I'm just going to put a nail in each corner. I'm not going to glue it down or anything. And I'm not going to bring it up on the walls. A lot of you folks had mentioned that. Probably, I, I, I just, I didn't want to. <laughs> so you can chew me out for that. Leave a comment. I really like having comments left. Makes me feel wanted. I'm putting nails where the walls will cover cover it. This was just a, a remnant from uh, locally. There's a, a carpet store carpet connection, and I know the I know everybody there fairly well. Great people. They didn't pay me to say that, by the way. So, uh, it was only 25 bucks. They didn't have hardly any remnants. I guess they used everything up. Oh, does, the chickens are going to love that. Hey, one other thought. What do you know about dogs getting along with chickens? If I, if I do end up getting a chicken or two or three. 
What is Kaya going to get along? Are there things I should do to help her acclimate? She's not a year old yet, so she hasn't got set in her ways too much yet. All right, I'll just take a knife and trim that. Where do I start? Let's start from the very beginning. <laughs> Trim off this side, just using a utility knife. I've installed quite a few floors myself. Didn't like it every time. They turned out all right, but it's pretty, it's an art to actually putting this down correctly. I don't know it, the art that is. Okay. Well, let's put some walls on. All right. Right, Kaya? Good girl. So we know the base, the floor is square. So we're just pulling everything out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> this is, will be the front door. What do you think? I mean, this, this obviously isn't a rake, but it reaches all the way. And I suppose you could get a, woohoo, something shorter to just sweep that in and sweep it out. I'm totally satisfied with that just for the sake of trying to get uh, scale. Trying to think of the word. Okay. Whew. I think I need some antibiotics or something. So I did not nail this one, this side. I nailed that off. I left this loose. I want to set this wall on and make sure that it comes out perfectly. I haven't measured across here. I wanted a 16 inch opening. 16. 16 and a quarter. So I think some of this wood was warped a little bit. So I'm having to deal with that. Yeah, that's about what I'm off. So if I just push that in, that should make that opening perfect. You know what I could do? I could measure. Let's see. You're just going to take my word over there because you can't see the tape. 16 and an eighth. We'll go with the 16 and an eighth. That's exactly 16. Looks like this might be curled a little bit. We're going to go with that. I don't think the chickens will complain. What if we use a big word here? Well, big for me, coplanar. That means making sure that the top of the door is straight across here and the bottom is straight across, as well as square. But that way you know, if you get the bottom whacked out a little bit, the door won't shut well. So you have to make sure that those are coplanar. I had a, a Finnish carpenter, 30, plus years ago, tell me that. It's funny, he worked for me, but he taught me a lot. Okay, so we got the chicken door. I'm going to, going to do the same thing, but the top, the reason I did that one is because the bottom of the, the uh, wall was cut out. This one, it's all solid, so I can't move it anyway. But you'll see that if I pull that in, it's perfect right there. Right, Kaya? Eighty-six and five eighths. When so, I don't have any of the sheathing on yet. When it comes to that, I will rack that just a little bit. 
So if it's off a, a, it was off a quarter inch this way to this way, which means you adjust it half of that, an eighth of an inch. So you pull it an eighth of an inch and you'll make up the quarter. As, I don't know if that made sense or not. It did to me. Okay. Typically when we're building a house or a garage, I'll put five nails in a, in a, a five pattern, two, one, and two, like hopscotch. But being that whole this is tiny, and then I put one into this wall to tie that, further tie that in. Actually, I put two. I lied. <laughs> okay. I haven't cut the rest. I'll have to do that now. I have everything marked where the, there's only going to be four of these on each side. So this is where it's, the roof starts to take shape. Pretty cool. I... I could have gone a different direction, but I, I want to do some painting before I put the sheathing on. So we're going to have half inch sheathing and then a two by four subfascia. And these are going to end at the outside of that subfascia plus the half inch of uh, plywood. So it'll be something like that. So I've put a mark on every one of these at two inches to allow a half inch for sheathing and an inch and a half for two by subfascia. So let's nail these on. A one. <laughs> Lawrence Welk, a one and a two. How many out there know Lawrence Welk or remember him? I, I never knew him. I used to watch him when I was like a kid. There it is. Now we'll nail on this header slash bottom plate slash multi. Oh, that looks really good. Perfect, 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 perfect. For sure, Kaya's jealous. She'd like to be up here. <laughs> okay. So it's important. All, uh, what I did for the two by four that's coming across here is cut it exactly six feet. You need to make sure as you go up that these measurements don't increase or decrease so that you don't have the roof rafter like curving out this way and then your roofing doesn't line up. So that's uh, pretty important, as in very important. <laughs> okay. They're always working wood, seems like. Is that why they're called woodworkers? Okay, you can see uh, the line looks really good, nice and straight. Okay, so now this cross piece will tie it together here. <laughs> Blew my toupee off. Great. All right. There, that's tied in. I'm going to nail all the, the short little studs on first. Trying to find some decent looking ones. But a, little, a little few and far between. Okay. This is the same way that we build rakes. I bet I've built it, I don't know, a million or two. <laughs> Maybe not that many. Right, Kaya? Okay. 
There's one. Well, let's see how it fits. It's going to hang out just a little bit. I put a mark right here and here so I know exactly where I want that. As well as I marked it down there. That looks really straight right down through there. Just to give you the idea, I'll just nail these on the ends, then I'll come back and nail the rest, the middle off. Perfect. Good. I'll nail those off after. I just wanted to set, I need to set that upper roof on so we can get a feel for the overall look. Then I'll line them up after the fact. Woohoo! <laughs> Very nice. I wanted to point out one other thing. This will essentially close out this video, but you can see, so the grain of the plywood is going the wrong way right now. It needs to turn and I'll use a, it'll be a full sheet going this way, but it worked out so that this will tuck up under there. And then, uh, well, this is going to have the polycarbonate on here, then there'll be a subfascia and a fascia to trim that all out. We got it. So this is going to wrap it up. I'll just give a do a little walk around, a walkabout. You fo 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 folks from Australia, appreciate you watching from down under. I know you've got the heat down there now. We've got the cold. Oh, it's 50 degrees today, Fahrenheit. Let's look around. Very nice. That, that came out pretty much as I envisioned it. Pretty much exactly as I envisioned it, I guess. So that'll all be lots of daylight through there and it'll be vented up here. I may do a vent here on each end and I need to do some venting down below. But anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. So the next video will have some painting, gonna prettify it, get it so it looks really nice. And uh, I'm sure we'll get some sheathing on, get it firmed up so it looks really good. I like the way the door is coming out, the, this door. Uh, it's like, I think to scale, it will look like a barn door. It'll look like a barn door. It won't open this way. It'll be one door hinged, but I'll make it look like two doors. Okay, thank you very much. Th appreciate you watching. Thanks.